So here in Final Cut Pro, I just want to have a look at a quick problem that pops up or question I get from time to time in Final Cut Pro. So we're going to jump into our titles and generators here. And in here, under the bumper and opener titles, we're just going to add a basic title. So really, this is about how we position and move titles within Final Cut Pro. So basically, within the title itself, you can see we can come across and hover over our viewer here, and we can move that title around within Final Cut Pro. So I'm just going to type in a title here, and we'll set this to Helvetica Bold, and we're going to make this nice and big. And as you're editing and moving to and from different clips, you might find yourself needing to move around a title. Now, if we have added other elements to our timeline, I'm just going to come down to our generators here. I'm just going to go to an object, and we'll add a heart in here over the top of this. And basically, with the heart, when you want to move this around, we'll just change the, the color of this. It's a nice bright red. Then you can see we're going to move to our transform options to do that. We can access our transform options in two places. One is with the transform controls down here. You can see we get the blue dots popping up at the edge of our clips. And we can now rescale that. And actually, sometimes that does happen. We end up grabbing the edge of that. So you just need to make sure you've got that arrow and angle. And so when we move this around, we can position that heart. So now if we come back to our title and we move this, you can see now we end up with a slightly different way of moving it. It's not got that box around the edge of the dockyard text. It's actually got the box from the transform controls. So we're moving this with transform controls which can be useful sometimes, but it can also be confusing. So if we turn off our transform controls now and then come back to our type, you can see I can actually move the type. And if I move it back to the center here, or say I wanted to move it above, we've actually lost it. And the reason for that coming over the edge here or coming across the edge here is basically because our transform has moved it away from the center of our video here. So when you're moving type around, you want to make sure that you've got the transform controls turned off so that you can actually move these elements. And this can get more complicated in other title generators as well. So if we come to an example here, the Brett FX slide revealers, and if we add one of these to our timeline, we'll add this film one, you can see we've actually got multiple titles in here as well. And moving this doesn't always make a big difference, but you can see here we can actually offset things by accident against parts of the design of this generator, this animated generator. So you just want to be mindful of this, of the two different ways in which you can move things, and then also how these more complex generators can sometimes work. So in here, in this generator and in other title generators, you may find that they have boxes for the different text element. So we've got our 23rd annual film fest set up here. And actually we can edit parts of the type here, but we can't edit all of the type elements. So you can see here, we've got this black first line of type. If we wanted to change the color of this type, then we have to come to the, the title options here and use the selection within Final Cut Pro to select that. So if we wanted to change this second annual black type to a different color, so we'll just go for a darker blue here. Then we have to come into Final Cut Pro's built-in editors and make this selection using the type selector. And that can sometimes get confused when we have the transform controls on. You can see that locks off the, the type selection. I can't actually select it now. And when I move this now, you can see it's actually controlling the layer below. So that's causing some more issues. So if you try to move something like a type element and it moves the video below, then just undo and turn off your transform controls and just come back in and modify things within the inspector using the type move arrow here rather than trying to use the transform controls. And it's just something to get used to with different elements in Final Cut Pro, just to know what you've got selected and what you need to select. So for instance, movies type here, we have the ability to edit it. And so for instance, to edit the color here for this, but in the generator itself, we have only the bar color. So you can see I have to go to two different places to kind of modify parts of this. So these animated generators can be very cool, 
but you do need to be mindful that if you're wanting to modify certain parts of the color, then you need to begin to learn how the different tools and layers of tools work within Final Cut Pro. So the main point here is if we are moving text around, then we need to turn off the transform controls so that we're not accidentally moving things away from the edge to the point where we hide our type like this. And then also with some generators where they're controlling the layer below, if we use those transform controls, we're actually gonna move elements around on screen. And this can be the same for other plugins, not just the Brett FX plugins, just using that as an example here. So if I've moved ahead and I've moved this by accident and I wanna get this back in the right spot, then I can turn off my transform controls. I can come back up into the video options and then it's really just the transform position that I need to adjust. So I can use this little arrow to the right of those position properties and reset the parameter and that will reset everything back to zero and pop it back in the right spot. So transform controls are super useful, but with text, you just need to kind of understand how it's working between the type controls and the transform controls. Hopefully this is useful if you have got stuck moving things around on screen in Final Cut Pro. But certainly if you have any more questions about this, then please do leave them in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.